Hello YouTube, this is Chaos Ripper and this is episode 19 of Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Well, let's see what we got going on today. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All these lovely missions to do and not enough time to do them. At least not in this episode. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? I hope it's... You are not done out Gotta love Kingpin. Great villain. Ah, there you are. The perfect man for the really? job. Don't try to pretend they like me. It creeps me out. You misunderstand. My associates are under attack by creatures possessing electrical powers. And I don't want to risk anyone valuable. Wow. You've been saving that one, haven't you? Get there quickly, or else they will be turned into more of these hideous things. Okay, anything else? 30, 40 burgers <laughs> Really? Fat jokes? Really? You had to do fat jokes. You had to do fat jokes. Anyway. Like I said, sorry. Well, today was a decent day at work for the most part. But I can't talk about work because, well, it's boring. So, eh. But, anyway. Uh, let's see. I wish that I owned one of these aircraft so I wouldn't have to pay to get on the bus. And everybody understands my rent for the bus. If you don't, go back to the previous episodes and you'll get it clear as day. Anyway, uh, let's see. Well, I think in this episode, because this is a pre recording, so I'm just letting you know. We're going to be going against somebody. Hmm, how can I put this? Somebody who can power a light bulb? I'm just saying. But first, let's go help these wannabe villains out. Basically, copycat us for the most part. Uh oh. Yeah, buddy. Oh, see, see, these are copycats now. See, look, look at these copycats. Ain't nothing compared to the real thing. Ain't this just nothing? And I'm gonna smack you out every which way that I can. There you go. Wish I could smack you guys around, but I can't. Oh, man, it's just aggravating. See, that's the girl that wants him, but he can't go for her because he's with Mary Jane. Mary Jane ain't a nope, wait, no, no. Ain't it a shame? That's all I can say. It's ain't it a shame. I don't care how many times I see that combo, it is still an awesome combo. Oh, man. Yep, yeah, that's gotta hurt. That's really gotta hurt. Yep. Swan dive. And there goes my boy Wolverine just for the heck of it. I'm trying to figure out how are they going to be able to put the X-Men in the MCU. That's, now that's something to talk about. How are they going to be able to do it? I mean, Fox already did a horrible job with them already. I mean, come on. Seriously, I mean, it's a way you can do it though. But see, Civil War the reason why Civil War was so good was because of the X Men, the first one, anyway, not the second one. I think the second one was like a prelude to what happened with Cap and Evil Captain America and stuff like that. Oh, got abs. <laughs> Wish I had abs like that. Abs steel, you know what I'm saying? Nice work knocking out these crazy things, but this isn't over. You mean there are more yes, of these it is. guys? That's right. You better hit as many as you can. Okay. While you're at it, you might want to try stopping these things at the source. Sounds like fun. Oh yeah. It's gonna be loads of fun. <sighs> Every mission I have to accept. Ain't this nothing. Gotta play superhero every once in a while. Well, let's see. Why don't he just retract his claws? That might well that's a graphical thing, I guess. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I think I'll go for that first. Come and catch me, Wolverine, if you can. Woo! Yeah. 
Look at that. Oh, ain't that so sweet. Isn't that so... Oh, wait. See, I took out Miss Parker's window again. And they're gonna bomb that in a second, so I gotta get the heck away. And I was right. See, if I had a car there with insurance, I would've made money. Oh, shoulder. Ooh, he just threw him. And threw me while I was at it. Oh. Uh, there you go. Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm. Now, what I should've did was just... I should have kept. I should. I shouldn't have bothered the the uh, nest and let them reproduce, uh, turning the symbiotes into electric symbiotes, which would have saved me a boatload of time. But I wasn't thinking all the way until just now. So, sue me, <laughs> man. Every time, man. I should have just moved on for the most part. But yeah, what can you do? See, yeah, I should just let him go in there and just call it day, but I was trying to be a superhero. I was trying to be a goody goody two shoes. But what else can you do? Now I'm getting shocked like crazy. And they have no face. Like they're face less. Like if there were action figures, you'd see a marble where their head's supposed to be at and cover with like what looks to be lion something's like a lion's mane or something like that oh because they're copying off electro that's why okay i got it i got it Ooh. and there you go oh man it is really really hard today to find something to talk about i had to go on my laptop and get rid of some old footage because now you know i don't have like a extremely good laptop well no 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 I don't I don't I have to like delete a lot of stuff so I can have space to do what I need to do and the only way I know that it's overcrowded is that my computer is running extremely slow and I can't do what I want to do when it comes to uh, this if my computer is running so slow that basically everything comes up segmented segment segmented But I was looking up um, something on. No, I was reading Soar, um, TD Jake Soar, and then and, uh, and this is only because I can't figure out anything else to talk about. So don't get mad. I was thinking about what he was talking about uh, when it comes to you know being an entrepreneur and basically how you talk to people. You know, it ain't what you say; it's how you say it. You know. And how you communicate to your staff and things of that nature, and I mean, it was it was very enlightening, you know. I mean, just that little tidbit, cause like, think about it. When you're an entrepreneur, most times you're thinking, okay, make the sale, make money, move on, call it a day. But you don't think about, you know, the returning customers, and you know, and well, depending on what, what your line of work is, cause you know, or dealing with your, you know, I guess. If you're renting out houses, dealing with your tenants and dealing with carpenters and, and you know contractors and stuff like that, and, you know the people that help make your business work, whoever it is, whether it's retail or um, things of that nature, and it's just you have to watch how you talk to them, you know. Like some battles, you can just walk away from and call it a day. And it was this. I don't want to call it. I don't want to call it race out. Um, because it's not proper, honestly, and I don't have my phone on me, unfortunately. For some reason, I never remember to put my phone. But, um, but it, it's this um, Middle Eastern intelligent businessman. Uh, short haircut. Uh, I think he has like a one of those Fortune 500 companies or whatever, or it's like a hedge fund or something like that. I can't remember what exactly what it is. But he had this, like, 13 ways to be, like, a better, uh, 13 ways to be an entrepreneur. No, 13 ways to be a better businessman. And one of them was basically learning to just let things go and, and uh, let it be. You know, uh, you know, letting the arguments go where they need to go. And, you know, sometimes you just gotta let, let people win the arguments and stuff like that. Yeah, 
gotta let them win the argument sometimes and just let it go. And you know, some things you you know you stay fat to stay fast, stay fast to. Basically, your mind's not gonna change regardless. This is just what it is. And sometimes you just gotta let them win the argument. You know, you gotta pick and choose who you want. Pick and choose your battles. See, that's a simple way to say it. Pick and choose your battles. See, but um, and it really uh, it really. I'm one of those people where I am an extreme control freak. I'm not gonna lie about it. It's not it's not one of the greatest things I like about myself, but I am a control freak. You know, I like things done a certain way, and you know, most of the time I'm thinking that they're right until it's too late, and then it's all my fault. So I'm learning not to be a control freak, but just you know, learn to be a better person in general and learn that I can't control everything because if I do a lot of times they won't work right and you know for the most part if I control every single thing I end up messing messing up everything so it never works that way you know sometimes you gotta let things you gotta be able to trust people you gotta be able to you know communicate with people to get things done and yeah if, they, if that doesn't work you find someone else to do so when it comes to business, or even when it comes to life, you know, if, uh, just for giggles, I, I can't say the full version of that. Just for you know, giggles or whatever. If you know, you're the kind of person who likes playing WoW or um, World of Warcraft. Now, don't get me wrong; I don't know most of the terminology, if any. But basically, if you're the healer, or somebody else is the healer, he's not healing, and you try to talk to him and say, "Hey, man, you, know, you need to be healing us while we're attacking this big." dragon or whatever or taking care of this obstacle and they're still not doing it and after a couple of times you know yeah you let them go let them be but if they're trying but on the other hand if they're trying to be a healer and they just they might not know how that's when you walk them through it you help them out and you get things done you know a lot faster you know communication is key um i mean i'm part of this you know this um What's it called? I can't remember. Um, oh, Dungeon Dungeon and Dragons. Can't say where, can't say how, but I got. You know, I, I said, well, I, I told myself I said, I'll give it a shot. I, I always wanted to do it when I was younger, but well, I didn't understand it all the way, and from what people told me, it was kind of eh. So, but I decided to you know go and do it, do Dungeon and Dragons with a friend, and you know they gave me like I guess I guess you can call it a weak character because you know I'm I'm, I'm a beginner. And, you know, they decided to give me something like, I'm, I'm used to being a warrior, basically. I don't care what game I play, I'm definitely cry, you know, um, uh, I mean, anything, it doesn't matter, I'm a warrior, you know, I always like to, you know, go into the middle of battle and, you know, get the job done the call of the day. I don't like sitting back, but in this Dungeon Dragons game, I am the guy that's, I guess you call it a wizard? Or some kind of magical person. Basically, you, you know, you, you go back. Oh, cool! I cleared all the, uh, the electrical symbiotes. Cool. And it's time to get my reward. Hold on a second. You're back already. Yep. While you're at it, you might want to try stopping these things. At yeah. Source. Great. Don't these things ever no. break? No. So anyway, um, they decided to make me basically like a wizard or something like that. To me, I just basically call them snipers. Because a wizard, you got to be all the way back and, you know, you have to, you know, help from afar. And it's not really my thing. But so, I, you know, I end up rushing in and getting my butt handed to me <laughs> by the I GM. Where those electro symbiotes are spotted and see what's what. And the weird thing is, is that I actually don't mind being that way. You know, I'm, I'm I love role playing games, but only when I'm playing a role playing game where I'm leveling up, and that was the main thing: get stronger, to get stronger, so no one can mess with you. Hence the reason why I always play, you know, Final Fantasy 10 and 10 and 2, which I'm going to play that again. I love it. I'm not gonna get everything on that game, but I love playing the game. Ooh, oh, that had to hurt so bad. Oh, 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 here it comes, here it comes, one more. There you go. So anyway, but with with tabletop uh, RPGs or whatever, 
it's not, it's about the story, not the level, not the. Yeah, it's about the story, not about leveling up. And I'm slowly learning that, and I end up messing up really, really bad. Like I said, getting Shocking, my butt handed it? to me. Oh yeah, I went there. You know, as a I guess a wizard or whatever. So I learned, and I got new abilities, and I end up getting. And the thing is. Well, I'll, I'll let you guys watch this. I'll explain in a second. I'm sorry. I know you guys already know, so. Weird, but so cool. <laughs> oh, that's how they do it. That's one way to get rid of a lot of them. <laughs> Upgrade. Now I gotta take out. We gotta take out. Ooh, man, I gotta take out the pods and these things. Those pods are more trouble than they're yes, they worth. are. So anyway, you know, like I said, I rushed in being an idiot. You know, I thought I was doing a good job, but I ended up getting my butt handed to me and just. But, like I said, when it comes to tabletop RPGs, and this is for anybody who don't necessarily play tabletop RPGs and just play video games, basically, um, yeah, it's more about the, the imagination than the actual gameplay all the way, you know what I'm saying? It's just about the progression of the story, for the most part, and I'm learning, and I, I have a lot of, a lot of fun. And the GM's pretty cool. He's my friend. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh oh. It's about to go down, people. It's about to go down. Here it is, baby. Symbiote Shocker. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. And I thought, like, the symbiotes were, like, not immune to electricity. Well, this is the immunity. So cool. Man, you thought Carnage was evil, boy. That's. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah, the GM's pretty cool, though. You know, or I think it's called the. Grandmaster or the Game Master or whatever you want to call it. So he's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, I mean, the only reason I'm really doing it for real, honestly, is just so I can learn how it works. Because. Oh, wait. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. More what? More words? Right. To make sense? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the only reason I'm really doing it besides having fun is just I want to learn how to be a good game master. Because uh, my. If I'm gonna do a, uh, a. a tabletop RPG, Mutants and Masterminds, that's my, that's my way to go. I love superheroes. I'm never gonna stop loving superheroes. I, that, that, that's that's my claim to fame, you know what I'm saying? Before things went crazy with a friend of mine and a couple of other friends I don't that just didn't work out well to a, to a degree. I was gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? But I no one did it. No one did tabletop RPGs, so it is what it is, you know? But you live and you learn, you know what I'm saying? And um now that I get the chance, I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm not gonna waste time arguing about uh, oh I'm sorry and here's another thing and, and I'm hope I'm speaking loud enough so you guys can hear me I hope I am because this I know this has got to be loud but you gotta be able to do stuff that you've never done before you know what I'm saying you know sometimes it's good to be hands off and just learn from people who have done it before and just have fun with it you know what I'm saying new experiences you know, and, that, and not, and weirdly, and weirdly enough, not everything takes money. You're giving away your whole evil scheme. Not everything takes money, people. You know, some people don't want to learn that. That's fine. Me, I'm trying to survive, so I learned it real quick. I still go to anime stacks and still have a good time doing that. Ooh, double shot. And I, you know, I do. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. 
I still do, you know, like I said, Dungeon Dragons, you know, once a week after work, which is awesome. And in the future, I'm going to plan on, you know, working out, going back to working out, because I think I told you guys I worked out beforehand, and I have not in a long time, so I'm going back to that. And, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of things I want to do, do with my life. And I'm going to do that regardless. It's not, not, nothing's going to stop me unless it's unfortunately another crazy thing that happens in the family or something. But even still. Ooh! Nice! So he charged them up to charge himself back up. Wow. I guess the generators and they kicked up the generators again. Wow. I am such a boring person. <laughs> Why would you give your plan away? Why? I don't get it. Why would you even give your plan away? You're giving it all away. Man, I thought Venom and Carnage was horrible. Man, they should have used some of these folks in the comics. That would have been cool. But well, it is what it is. Either way, let's see if we can get these pods out the way. Because they're getting to be annoying. But this is still, even though I'm watching this, when I was playing this, I was having a boatload. Boatloads of uh, fun doing this. Even though it was annoying as a dog, don't get me wrong. It's like when you're in the heat of battle, man. It's like, go, 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 go. Sound like a weird person. Dragon Punch. I should have just, uh, I should have just uh, webbed them up, basically. And I, you know what? I should have called for help too, but I wasn't thinking all the way. But I don't know if you can call for help when you're in a boss battle. Though. Then again, you never know. Destroy one more. Oh. I said judo flip. Judo flip. I don't like judo flips. And now it's time to go to work. I'm just trying to. Does he have like a magnetic? You know what? Him and Magneto would be so cool together. But I would hate to see Magneto as a symbiote. To have a symbiote. That would be just horrible. Like a shocker is horrible. He would be like off the. Man, it would be crazy. Cool, but crazy. Cause he, and think about it. He's trying to help mutants out, and then he just takes it to a next level. Like, oh, you know what? Since y'all wanna take out mutants, we gonna amp their powers up with symbiotes, and then the symbiotes become the new mutants. And yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to think about. Here you go. Oh, there you go. And I think, I think I was starting to figure out that you know they were just getting in my way. But, you know, you live and you learn. Plus, I like playing the game. And I should have been blocking the whole entire time. But that's the reason why I didn't want to go towards them either. Take out the power source. And take out them. And I know that no one watches this, so I'm basically talking to myself. But I got a friend of mine that, you know, he works out all the time. And I hope he starts his, um... His uh, YouTube channel because he works out all the time. I mean, 24 7. I want him to get this YouTube money because I, he deserves it. He really does. You know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously, he does. Um, but, um, you know, he works out all the time 24 7, seven days a week, nights, weekends, holidays. And he, you know, I, I, mean, I watch, you know, I watch videos all the time to learn something because he's, he works out more than I do nowadays because my schedule is just so jacked up, you know. And I'm really trying to, trying to like not take my weights to work and have them sitting there and then see it, you know. And I'm lifting weights in front of people and they're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm lifting weights. Why are you lifting weights behind the cash register?" Mm. You know what I'm saying? How you do what you gotta do. Ooh. 
But um, yeah, I hope he starts his channel up really soon, man. And if I find out, I'm going to link him down the channel. Link him down, you know, one of my videos below. Um, just like with like also animated, which she is still one of the most awesome, you know, YouTuber gamer guys I've ever talked to. And I hope I can see him again. If he went to, I think he, I think he's already done going to uh, Comic Con, so but that was still awesome. Oh, yeah, and um. I'm trying to think. Was there anything else? I don't know. Just trying to get this thing done for the most part. You know what I'm saying? I just hate that they get in my way. Oh, finally. Ah, oh, I didn't know I completed that during... I didn't know I completed that during this. Wow. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. I could have kept... I could have kept this going, too. Oh, I could have kept that going. But anyway, it is what it is. What else can you do? I need to take out those pods. Again? Ah. Uh, yeah, this was one of the long ones. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not doing it because I'm rushing. I'm just, uh, just adding tension. Adding a lot of tension. Tension in the air. Yeah. But I'm starting to get better at it. You know? I figured uh, I might as well just be this and do that because it's a lot easier and yeah uh, take it take it and also have a slight you know, also have a, uh, once I get stuck in animation like that I have a slight invulnerability there you go now you, oh that's the only thing I hate about him but now you can take a butt kicker. You about to take this butt kicker like a man. Yep. Yep. There it is. What you want? No, nope. here's another one. Nope. Sorry, Aunt Sylvia. I apologize. Sorry about that. Uncle Tom? Well, Uncle Tom, I don't know what to tell you on this one. Sorry. Shouldn't took my sneakers. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's right. Yep, and you about to take this butt kicking like a man and take it. Wow, I never thought I could be stuck in the air like that. But I'm going to be a good guy. I'm going to be a good guy. How he was able to fight that off, I have no idea. How? Electro. Max. I didn't know he had a sister. I wonder if they kept that in the comics or not. I don't know. That must have took a lot, though, man. That seriously must have took a lot. Like, man. That's crazy. That's straight up crazy. Got a lot done, though. But it's still crazy. Yeah, buddy. Look at my, look at my achievements. And I got him. One of these days, I might go bad and just use all the villain stuff or whatever. I might do it in a future video that's not recorded, but that might be far in the future, far, far in the future. So, yeah, I might. Mm. Oh, there it is. Yes, yeah, sir. Now I gotta go back to Black Cat. Got that completed. Still got a lot more to do. <laughs> got so much to do, so little time. So little time, so little time. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? But either or, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm still able to do this and swing around like crazy, get things done. You know, you know, go to Aunt May's house every once in a while. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I would not want to go to a woman named Aunt May. Seriously. Yeah, but this is Chaos Ripper signing out saying thank you and have a blessed and wonderful day.